Hey guys, Young Corny Mom here. Um, this is part two of my pattern stash. Um, this part is going to be featuring the American School of Needlework. I've only got a couple of those. Um, this is Creative Cards by okay, Trice. I uh, can't pronounce the last name. B O E R E N S. Brins? Brins? Anyway, um, some cross stitch idea cards, 32 designs. I love this magazine, or rather this, this leaflet. It's really cool. Um, there's just a few. Let's see if I can get it in really. It's not going to want to focus very well. Um, that's a mother's card. And then we've got this one's for you, the cat sleeping, friends for off seasons. We've got a birthday cake. Thank you. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Welcome to the neighborhood. Uh, penguin married couple that's really cute for a wedding gift for you as gift tags little gift tags and then for baby um, let's see if I can nope that was a better angle wasn't it all right we've got uh, kind of overcast today but I've got my hot light shining on my desk so uh, this is not wanting to focus very well oh I cannot wait to get my new camera let's see if that'll no again oh well um, let's see, you're a catch, welcome baby, we're going to celebrate, um, anyway, just some ideas for gift cards on that one, love, that one's cute, alright, here this other one is, it's called the cross stitch designs for sipper cups, or sippy cups, as we call it, again, the American School of Needlework, um, some soldiers, cows, uh, grandma's cup, what's that, a little, I don't know what that is. Looks like a llama, maybe? Yeah. Alright, and then we've got um, little ice cream juice, duckies, cookies and milk. You know, just sippy cups some designs. I just thought that was cute. Uh, and then let's see, there's some on the back. Here we go. Oh, oh quite a few. Uh, horsies, and of course, you know, these are for, for your toddlers. But just some cute little sippy cup designs and then as they graduate you can also use these patterns for um, the cup inserts um, I'm going to be showing my stash on those here in the later video I mentioned them that you can get them at Hobby Lobby I got them uh, I guess when they first came out so I got an awesome deal on them but they're under a buck and what you do is um, the the cups that they have they have uh, big size cups but they also have like little mugs where you can pop the lid out and put an insert and I use um, cross stitch canvas for mine but you can uh, it comes with like a paper insert to color but anyway I'll, I'll, I'll show you those later alright the next designer is going to be Alma Lynn now I have seen this one on 123 stitch um, I was surprised I came across it. It was pretty cool. It's got 42 designs, including an alphabet. Um, and it's just fantasy. I love the land of make-believe. Their every sky is blue. Where all the children laugh and sing, and every dream comes true. So cute. Um, let's see. I don't think... Yes. Let's see if some designs are on the inside. Yes. Oh, good. Nope. I'm going to make it mess. See, I'm, I was trying to tilt it up so you guys could get a better view of this. Okay, here we go. Oh, friendship is magical. There's a dragon with a princess. So cute. Her Majesty the Sweet Princess. Oh, quite a lot. That's my daughter. Uh, Daddy's little princess. Mommy's little girl. The sweetest, dearest one in all the whole wide world. Oh, cute. Open. I've got a glare. Um, and... some project ideas. Let me tilt this up for you, sorry. In the back. And we've got a pillow idea, we've got a plaque idea, the princess lives here, cute. Um, little ornaments and bibs and towelettes, bookmark, and then the alphabet and each alphabet has little critters. And then on the back it shows optional finishing techniques, which is really cool. So it shows you step by step on how to do the little ornament um, and then also how to put together um, the children's names in different ways to put it together is pretty cool 
and this this kind of gives you an idea of, of the alphabet. It looks like it's all lowercase. But that segued into book number two that I have from her. Again, this is uh, Alma Lynn Designs. It's the ABCs for Mother and Daughter. Now, these are all the capital letters, and of course, it's got like pocketbooks and hats and teapots and little stitchy things. And, and then again, it gives you ideas again on the back. It shows you in the blue, and then it shows you in the pink. And the actual characters in each one is totally different in each alphabet. Um, like in the Z in this one, it has a lady's face, and then... Oh, it doesn't show there. I'll show you the X. It's a it's a thicker stitch, and then that one's a, a skinnier stitch. I'll be right back. Sorry about that. A mother's work is never done. Um, there's a little pillow with um, your child's initial or a child's initial, and then tea tip towels, hand towel ideas, and then a, maybe a monogram bag idea. That's kind of cute. Or a pillow roll. That's cute. And then again, a, um, you know, maybe do some waist canvas on a shirt that's so cute um, I recently showed a really good deal that I got on some uh, waste canvas um, um, it was DMC 14 count water soluble waste canvas which I'm really excited about trying really soon so anyway okay so that's that designer next designer I'm going to show you is Sandy Phillips um, this is leaflet number eight between friends and it has little sayings I have a couple of pre-made card kits I've given out a couple but I have a couple that I kept for myself um, and has some of these little sayings on them as well by Sandy Phillips this is leaflet number eight um, this one is 509 friends share 679 my dearest friend 529 thanks friend 178 through the eyes of a friend and let's see there's a few on the back i don't know it's just showing some finished works um on what you can do it shows how you could split it up and turn it like into a bookmark that would be a bookmark and a plaque that would be really nice to show this one is um eight eight oh oh three i think that's from a different i think that's from a different leaflet let me see inside yeah because the patterns it, it, I don't want to show you the pattern it's so so I'm going to do it at an angle so you can't see it's a trifold all right actually not a trifold a fourfold so it shows um, some some in colors and then inside they're not in color but it's just these four I apologize it's just those four but still oh, can't beat that all right this next one is one by itself it's called in my garden it's a leaflet number 201L, as in Larry. In my garden, hush, for I hear the butterfly's wings lifting its tiny body in flight. Be still, for I hear the song of the bird workling with delight. Quiet, for I hear the whispers of the wind rustling through the trees. Rejoice, for I hear God's symphony of peace on every gentle breeze like that okay. all right so there's that designer next we have stitch world x stitch um i've got uh, about four or five of these this one is 50 quick stitch designs frogs and bugs and i just adore these frogs i'm picky about my cross stitch stuff i like the cutesy stuff um, I also like the mythical things, but it has to be a good design. It can't be just this mod crap that's just thrown together. Um, some designs out there I really don't, I don't, I don't like. But if it's cutesy like this one's really cute, I made a mug with this uh, as the band all the way around it. It was just so adorable. Let's see, I think these are all, yeah, those are all designs on the inside. Let me see. There's 50 quick stitches, so I don't think it show. It doesn't. Oh shoot! I can't show you everything because they're all in the patterns. Well, I guess you really can't. Really can't tell. So I'm gonna. 
Um, this is um, where they put it all together as a sampler, which was really, really cool. Um, did one as the border. Let's see. Okay, so there's the frogs. I'm going to glance through them real quick so you can't, can't really see. This is one side of the sampler. This is the other side of the sampler. And then in the middle, it's got them broken down into individual frog runs of different um, different runs that you can do. So, And then, of course, most of them give you your step-by-step -step cross-stitching instructions on how to put them together. So that's Stitch World. All right, here we go. Uh, Stitch World Cross Stitch Boys Time Out. If you know of the little boy, so cute. He's sitting there in his little doggies at his feet. So adorable. And then we have Girls Time Out. Which, uh, she's got a kitty cat at her feet. I wonder why they do that. M most dogs are associated, most most girly things are associated with cats and most boy things are associated with dogs. I don't know what that is. Uh, but anyway, that's a good design. I got that at a shop in Gatlinburg. Okay, um, this is called September Gold. Again, we're still at Stitch World Cross Stitch. And I liked this one because it shows, you know, the farming and the quilting and that's that's the little shop and then there's a little house in the back and this is called September Gold is the name of this one. I like that one, little leaflet. And then we have Autumn Mist, same company. Um, both, does, both original art is by Diane Feline. P-H-A-L-E-N. I apologize if I've, I've mispronounced that one. Um, a lot of beautiful gardening. Sunflowers. And then, you know, country home. Which you see a lot of these around where I live. And um, then you've got the well. And then you've got the, the shed in the back. But that one's really cute. Alright, then we have... Fairies in Shoe Land. Sparkles with metallic thread and seed beads. This one I like. Again, it's it's cutesy. It's it's mythical, but it's so cute. I love this. Um, this is leaflet 03-133L. I know a lot of you like to do the mythical fairies, but this was one I really liked. It's one of those where the back a lot of back stitching. The back stitching pulls it all together. But I'm trying to see where the Let's see where the beads go on it. Oh, it looks like maybe around the tassel area. And of course the metallic's going to be probably around here. Uh, can't show you the inside, but... Okay, so there's that one. And then we have the last one of this series called Little Wild Ones. It has 50 fast and fun designs. Stitch name, plaque, or border. Cute looks for shirts. Um, this is a little like a zoo sampler, really cute. Little wild ones. There's bibs and little plaques and little t shirt and another. Looks like an alphabet sampler. Um, let's see, it's mostly the patterns, but let's see if I can get. And this, it breaks it down. I'm going to go through this quickly because this is the pattern, so I don't want to do any type of infringement. Again, this is the alphabet. How they lay the key out is really good. Again, this is the safari. I apologize if I'm making you seasick. Alright. So that's that group. Um, okay, this one I have an individual by itself. It's two sisters and brothers. Leaflet 9. The designer is Harriet Tew, T-E-W. Um, it looks like she might have done this quote herself. It says, we shared many secrets, the same mom and dad. We shared lots of times, don't think of the bad. Our memories will cherish with love without end. I'm glad you're my sister. I'm glad you're my friend. And I have two fabulous sisters that are younger than me. And uh, we've always been close over the years. But it gives you an alphabet on the back. 
that you can uh, adapt to. But this was done in 1979. So, yeah, I started getting patterns around that time. Um, okay, here's a couple of, oh, it looks like waste canvas that I've got. Again, the American School of Needlework. I did not put this with that other group I had because it was um, for waste canvas. So I didn't want to mix the two up. It looks like this is probably an old 80s one because remember when the bunnies were really popular in the 80s on all the styles and the, the goose? People were doing their kitchen in that type of thing. Oh, but I like the little birds. And there goes my battery. I'll be back. She's just laying there. I think she wants to get your attention. Don't do nothing. Let's see what she does. She's cray cray. She's what? She's cray cray. She's cray cray. She looked at me with brown eyes. She was like, please love me. She's cray cray. Uh -huh. Don't do nothing. Just ignore her. Let's see what she does. Tries to get your attention the way she did a while ago. No, I said just ignore her. See what she does. Is that that wiggle song? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Oh, that's funny. Wait a minute. Let me turn it back. I have to pause it. She's not going to do it now, but don't put your hand down there. When I say, when I tell you just ignore her, that doesn't mean put your hand down there and get her attention. I wanted to see what she, I wanted her to do what she was doing a minute ago. Yeah, when I was reaching my hand down, she's like, she, that cat, I'm telling you, there's something in the couch on your side. And that's why she's just laying there. I like how she flipped over a while ago and put her paws in the air to get your attention, but she won't, I don't know if she'll do it now. Nope, she's going to stay there and, and just protect you. She's squinting her eyes. She's squinting her eyes. She's got good ears, too. Yeah, she's good. Alright. You're wiggling your toes. And she's, she's looking up at your toes because you're wiggling them. <laughs> 